Hello YouTube, I'm Matt Video Productions and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a super helpful one and I think a lot of you Minecrafters inexperienced and experienced are going to benefit from this one. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 5 vanilla optimizations for Minecraft that make the game a whole lot better in my opinion. Just some small but uh, very effective tweaks to Minecraft. So yeah, there are modifications but you're still playing vanilla Minecraft, you know, there's no crazy new mobs running around or anything. This is all stuff that either doesn't directly change the game or just enhances something that you can already do in Minecraft. So without further ado, let's get into the first modification. By the way, links are all down in the description below. The first modification I'm going to show off here is called Sodium for Minecraft. It is a Minecraft mod. As you can see, it uses the fabric loader. I actually have an entire video dedicated on how to install this mod, which you can find down in the description below. But as you can see up here, it says Sodium Chunk Cache. There's a hint right there that I'm running Sodium and Chunk Render or Multi Draw GL 4.3. This is very different from from normal Minecraft. Basically, Sodium is Minecraft Optifine on roids. It makes it way faster. Uh, I did a whole test actually in my how to install Sodium video where I almost doubled my frame rate on a lower end computer by installing Sodium. I'm gonna set my FPS limit here to unlimited and as you guys can see, just by looking around this world, you can see I'm getting some pretty high frame rates up in the corner there. And this is on a server in a normal world, it is even faster. I can actually max out Minecraft settings with this mod on and play it just fine at 144 FPS on a normal Minecraft world. So this mod is awesome, again I did a whole video on it, that you can find with the link down in the description below. But that is the first modification. The next modification that I have installed for Minecraft is if I press the C key, as you can see everything zooms in. This is a pretty obvious Optifine, you know, trick that's been in the game for a long time with Optifine. But since uh, we can't install Optifine because we are running Minecraft Fabric Loader with Sodium, which is honestly better for performance than Optifine, it's actually twice as good as Optifine uh, according to my testing. But yeah, you can get this feature back by installing this one. Again, link is in the description below for all of these. But yeah, it also has this really cool animation, which is honestly you know, even better than Minecraft Optifines. And if you didn't have the mod, you could achieve the same thing by lowering your FOV, and that's why I really don't consider this one cheating at all. And I mean, what kind of tactical advantage are you gaining with this? All right, now that the sun is setting here, I can actually show off the next modification. If I go over and steal this torch right here, and then let's go run out to a darker place here on the server. As you can see, if I hold this torch in my hand, it will light up the surrounding areas. This is a dynamic lights add-on for Minecraft. So yeah, as you can see, the lights dynamically move across the world, which is super, super cool. You know, if you just hold the torch, it also works obviously with redstone torches. You could also put it in your offhand like so and just walk around and, you know, punch and do stuff. This one also works for fire, of course, if I light a mob on fire here, as you can see, he's flaming and burning up and leaving all sorts of light around as he walks around, so it's pretty cool. Honestly, one that I think should just be in the game already. But yeah, that's dynamic lights. Again, a super useful one, even though it does actually introduce quite a bit of lag on slower machines. But again, the first mod I mentioned was Sodium, which helps performance a whole lot. So my friend actually installed dynamic lights and was having lag issues, and then he installed Sodium, and everything was cool. So the next modification that I am going to show off here automatically switches your item that's in your hotbar to the most efficient item for whatever you're trying to do in Minecraft. So if I want to mine this dirt, obviously I want to use my shovel. You know, if I try to do it with my sword, it's automatically going to change to my shovel here and start uh, dissolving all this dirt by using the shovel instead of the sword. So it just basically is a lazy mod. You know, I could switch to the shovel if I wanted to. But, you know, this just helps the lazy Minecraft players out there. You know, I'm, I'm using my shovel right now. Automatically just switches to my pickaxe for me. You know, takes a lot of the work out of there. If you're just working in your world or something, you know, not worried about mobs, and then a mob suddenly attacks you, instead of swinging your pickaxe or your fist or something at him, you will end up swinging your sword at them. So it makes that super useful, and it can really save your butt at times. Another thing I have also noticed with this item switcher mod is that it won't let tools automatically destroy themselves or break when you're using them. So if you, you know, have a really precious tool that is really low on health, it's not going to let that tool break in your inventory and lose all your enchantments or whatever that you want it to hold on to. So that is another really useful feature of that mod. Now the last one I'm going to talk about, I actually kind of helped make myself, or I really just updated it to 1.16.3, again a download link can be found 
in the description below. And this one is actually a Minecraft resource pack here. As you can see, it says better shield. Essentially, what this resource pack does in Minecraft is when you equip your shield, it's going to look much, much smaller down on your side like it honestly should in Minecraft. So it's not super annoying when you're, you know, just trying to do stuff around your world and you're not constantly taking your shield on and off again. For comparison, I will go remove the resource pack really quick and you can see how just annoying shields are in Minecraft normally. Uh, look how much of the screen it takes up, you know, honestly. And when you do hit, you know, F5 and look at yourself, you can see the shield is all the way to the side here. But if I go back into first person mode here, you can see it's right in front of my face. So this one's actually like makes more sense as well. Uh, for where a shield would be if you were actually, you know, running around with a shield in your hand. It's just to your side like it, you know, should look like. So, you know, there's also that sort of continuity benefit. I think this is just something, this is how shields should be in Minecraft, let's be honest. Not super, super annoying, and obviously you could still block like normal with it. It goes right in front of your face. So those are all of my, uh, you know, Minecraft vanilla tweaks and benefits that I use when I play Minecraft every day in my server here, as you can see. So yeah, all downloads are in the description below. Let me know if you guys need any help installing any of them. Guides are also linked down in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.